After 26 years in the medical profession, I became unemployed, and I was looking for something to fill my time. I was introduced to a woman named Carol Bell who had two children with disabilities who was searching for programs to enhance the children's lives. After not being able to find any programs that were suitable, she decided to organize the activities herself. I knew many people with skills that would be able to help her. So I introduced her to a friend of mine who was a chef, and they began cooking classes one day a week. When I first came out to work with the kids, I wasn't sure what, what to expect. I'd never really worked with special needs kids before, and when I met the kids, and they are severely disabled, I wasn't sure how I was going to be able to do this. They aren't oral, they don't speak, Ben is almost blind, and their main means of communication is body language, grunts, sounds, and so I knew this was going to be a learning experience for me every bit as much as for them. When we first started, Carol said to me that Ben was very cooperative, he liked to do things, but that Sandra was, as she put it, her own person and was going to be difficult, and that would be lucky if I could keep her near the table for half the session. Well, in the first few weeks, we actually did have difficulty. Sandra would cooperate a little bit, but would get irritable and then push herself away with her feet in her wheelchair, and so I'd have to go and cajole her and talk sweet to her and bring her back in. And I realized that the only way I could communicate with these kids was by touching and, 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 and expressing my emotions and getting them to like me. And as the months have progressed, Sandra has really done well. She, it's amazing. Now she stays at the table the whole time. Sometimes she actually takes the rolling pins and the cutting utensils that we use to make our, our product uh, in her own hand and handles it herself. She smiles a lot more than she used to, she laughs a lot, and I find myself eager for those smiles. I actually work to get those smiles from her, and when I get them, it's, it's the most rewarding thing I can imagine doing. Prior to the baking activity, Sandra rarely made eye contact and would participate only for a few minutes in most activities and didn't want anyone to touch her hands. After the baking activity, she, she began to participate in the activity, allowed people to move her through the activity itself, and then also um, she started looking at people in the community for, and making eye contact and expecting communication from them. We'd like to develop a program and a facility by tapping into community resources and bringing in skilled people to share their expertise. We can provide more choices, such as art, music, cooking, for individuals with significant disabilities so that they can explore and find options that will inspire them to live a more balanced life. And that's what makes a day that matters.